it is very difficult to convert an alkane, unfunctionalized, into any other functional group. But it's also tricky to convert many functional groups into an alkane. Sir Derek Barton has considered this problem from both directions. Here, we will look at his decarboxylation. A carboxylic acid loses carbon dioxide and thus usefully cuts one carbon from a carbon chain to give an unfunctionalized alkane. Carboxylic acid has limited reactivity. When we want to replace the hydroxyl group with something else, the OH must leave as a stable form, for example, a hydroxide anion. But there are more stable leaving groups, thus originating from more reactive carboxylic acid derivatives, for example, acid chloride. Here, the chloride anion is more stable, happier to leave, than the corresponding hydroxide anion from carboxylic acid. So to get this extra reactivity, we convert the carboxylic acid into the related acid chloride. Then we use the sodium salt of N-hydroxypyridine-2-thione as a nucleophile, which attacks the carbonyl carbon of the acid chloride with breaking of the carbonyl double bond in the addition step to provide the tetrahedral intermediate. Then the carbonyl is reformed with the negatively charged oxygen and the chloride ion leaves in the elimination step. This provides a thiohydroxamate ester. It's the key molecule with which to start our radical chemistry. So, how do we initiate a radical? We will use AIBN, tin hydride, and heat to produce the tributyl tin radical. In propagation, this homolytically reacts with the comparatively weak thiocarbonyl bond to create a strong sulfur tin single bond. Next, the six membered ring aromatizes, providing it with extra stability releasing the carbonyl radical that rapidly reacts to give carbon dioxide gas. Here it's drawn bent to keep the atoms in the same location, but in fact it's linear, and providing alkyl radical. The thiohydroxamate ester provides a perfect storm of chemical motivations to become the alkyl radical. But we need an alkane. So, where shall we get an extra hydrogen from? What about tin hydride? Great, now we can get our desired alkane and form more tributyl tin radical to react with additional thiohydroxamate ester. 